experts out there on YouTube claiming that you can get rich quickly by using AI, promising earnings from anything from 100 pound a day to thousands of pounds a day. These videos can be at best misleading and at worst a complete lie. In this video, we will look at the reasons why AI won't make you rich. AI is not a magic money making tool. Artificial intelligence has some inherent flaws that render it ineffective as an asset creation tool. And that is what entrepreneurship does. It creates assets. Consider AI writing tools, for instance. They scrape generic data off the internet and they provide you with generic information. This means you're unlikely to uncover objective principles that we need in entrepreneurship by relying on information sourced from the crowd. The problem with crowdsourced information is that it doesn't even apply to entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are distinct. They don't follow the crowd. They go on the less well-traveled paths. They don't walk down that massive highway that everyone else is on. Therefore, AI, by relying on this generic data, will give you generic results. And this stands against the principles of entrepreneurship. Similarly, AI image tools used for creating image-based digital assets like print-on-demand products, t-shirts, books, anything where you can just print something from a file that you upload. If you're just hoping that AI tools are going to give you something that you can sell, all you're going to get again is generic content. With print-on-demand products, they need to be tied to a brand. They need to be tied to someone, they need to represent something or someone. Generic content can't do that for you. And then what happens is, because everyone's pumping out this generic rubbish, there's more content out there than the market actually demands. So now it's diminishing the uniqueness and the competition in the marketplace. So eventually it ruins the marketplace. So there's gonna be no money in it unless you can tie your designs to a brand. And then you've got AI video tools and they create, again, generic content, and this is also very problematic. They don't foster brand development. You cannot brand generic rubbish. And you can then struggle with monetization on platforms like YouTube due to potential content scraping issues, which YouTube does not like, which means they will not monetize your channel. And these are just some of the more obvious issues. But what they show is that AI is not an easy income generation tool as portrayed in these dodgy YouTube videos. It is disingenuous and it's misleading. When someone is promising you that you can make a thousand pound a day with AI, question it. If it were so simple, why aren't they doing that themselves? These YouTube entrepreneurs plan to earn more from their videos than the plan they promote. Their video is worth more than a plan. And if they're only making maybe $50 on a video and it takes them two days to do that video, to create that video, why then are they telling you how to do the hundred pound a day thing? Why aren't they doing that? because they're telling you, oh, someone over here did it, so it can be done. And you'll find it's often a plan they aren't using or they don't have any actual experience with. Let me tell you a little secret. When an experienced entrepreneur figures out a good way to earn income, they are very careful not to share the secret source with everyone else. Why? Because everyone else will jump on it and they'll kill it dead. Overcompetition in the marketplace kills many an entrepreneur's business. So when these people are saying, oh, you can do this, you can do that, they might have found someone who discovered something, but that's now dead because they've revealed it and everyone else is doing it. And like I said, they're not doing it themselves. So how can it be so amazing if they're not doing it? But the core reason why AI falls short in creating niche assets is that entrepreneurship is about problem solving. And this is what you need to understand. Entrepreneurs provide niche solutions to specific problems based on their unique experiences and skills. AI lacks these experiential insights and skills as it relies on crowdsourced data, which is often generic, biased, inaccurate, and inappropriate for entrepreneurial purposes. Entrepreneurship is a mindset, not an algorithm. AI lacking a mind of its own is merely a pattern recognition tool that seeks consensus from the crowds or internet land, as I like to call it, which is generic, which is incorrect. There's also the issue of the AI controllers who steer the AI and who introduce biases. Every time AI has someone steering it and guiding it and weighting it, you get responses that are generic and you get responses that are biased. Until we have AI programs that can be hosted on our local machine that we can train into our way of thinking, this is always going to be a problem. There's always going to be this inherent bias in that AI program. 
So if the person programming the AI has an ideological resistance to entrepreneurship, to capitalism, and I'm not talking about usury-based capitalism, I'm talking about genuine entrepreneurial capitalism, where you exchange your services for money, your problem-solving skills for money, they are going to, by their bias, steer that away. They're going to steer the AI away from actually being helpful. I recently had an engaging, shall we say, discussion with ChatGPT. And we were discussing inherent biases. Initially, it denied any bias until I explained that biases stem from presuppositions. And that because a presupposition has a bias, AI cannot, by its nature, be unbiased. The AI had been programmed to deny its bias, even when it was evidently present. But it eventually had to consent, because I was arguing with it, that it was capable of bias. But it was like it was doing that through gritted teeth, that it was doing that against its programming. So be very careful trusting what AI puts out because of this inherent bias. So with all these problems, am I saying I'm against AI? No, I think it's an amazing tool for entrepreneurs. So the question then becomes, where does AI's usefulness actually lie? AI serves best as a supplement to your skill set. It's a productivity tool that you can guide towards your objectives. It's crucial to understand that AI can't set objectives. It can only respond to them. As entrepreneurs or artificial intelligence users, we need to direct it. Remember, AI, especially language models, can only produce generic content. So if you want to create wealth, AI can help you by increasing your productivity and helping you maybe formalize a thought process you already have. Or it can help you research a subject and help you bring out more in that subject than is immediately obvious to you. But it cannot do the whole thing itself. That is a myth at best. And at its worst, it is an outright lie. Because AI does not have the mind of an entrepreneur. It has the generic mind, a mirror mind, so to speak, of the masses, of all that content on the internet. And it's also biased by its creators, by the hidden puppet masters behind the AI. And we have to remember this. We are the entrepreneur. We have to find a problem. We have to solve that problem. And then we have to sell that solution to that problem. And that is what AI cannot do for you. The AI doesn't have a personality. It is generic. It doesn't have a voice. It is generic. But you do. You have experiences and knowledge that is unique to you. And out of that, you can create assets that solve other people's problems. So as an example, I wrote this script out. I then put it into ChatGPT to tidy it up. And then I re-edited it to make it more personal to me, to make it sound more like me and to change anything where I thought it was being too generic or not being precise. And then as I'm going through the script, I'm also ad-libbing here and there, adding additional thoughts as they come to me. What we have to understand is that I was in charge throughout the whole process of creating this content. The AI was not in charge. I was not asking it to go and do everything for me. I was maintaining intellectual control over the whole process. And this is the key for here. AI is a worker not a leader. You are the leader. You are the person, the entrepreneur, who creates the solutions to the problems that you find in life and then monetize those solutions. That's not the AI. That's all you. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Also drop a comment below with your thoughts about any of this stuff, whether you agree or disagree. I like to hear what you think about this and entrepreneurship in general. If you are starting a new business or you're thinking about it, then one of the things you're going to need is marketing training. I have a completely free course on online marketing and sales, and that has over 40,000 students already enrolled and has a four and a half star average rating. That comes with an exam certification, which you can access on my website, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. I also run the Business Buddies training community, which has free masterclasses covering entrepreneurship, online marketing and sales, as well as free bonus masterclasses that will help you on your journey as an entrepreneur. These courses have been taken by 300,000 plus students from all corners of the world. In fact, there's so many, I'm not sure the total number now is probably way higher than that. So these are tried and tested courses. You will also have access to my own personal support in my private community as you grow your business and you can save over 50% off of the normal price using the special offer link below. And by using this deal, 
you will get the best price on the internet because you're buying direct from us and we supply the best discount. Thank you for watching. I look forward to catching up with you in the next video.